In this video, we're going to cover the Designs feature of CheckCherry. We built this feature to help you collaborate with your clients to produce the perfect artwork for their booking. It's easy to use and your clients are going to love it too. Here's how it works. Your client will log in and select a design from a collection of designs that you provide. After that, you'll upload an artwork version. Perhaps you'll change uh, the name on the template or some different colors to match their uh, theme, something of that nature. Your client will approve or request a revision, and you'll eventually upload a final artwork version. Some common use cases we see, photo booth templates, album covers, monograms, really anything where the client is selecting an option from a gallery of designs, um, or you can skip that process and hop right into just uploading an artwork version for a custom design and having them approve it or request a revision. Let's take a look at the client experience. Okay, so now I'm logged in as a client and I'm looking at my wedding uh, booking. This is Jessica's wedding. And there's a designs tab and if I click that, here I can select uh, my templates. And so I'll take a look and see what one looks great for me. Again, all these are very similar. Yours are gonna be different, obviously. Um, but I can choose, let's say I want this one. And no, I don't like that. Let's go back and yes, let's do this one. Choose. Okay. So now the template has been selected and um, as an admin, I've been notified uh, that a customer selected a template. Okay, so I'm logged in as an admin and if I go to the designs tab of that booking, um, you'll see uh, a different layout. And so it'll tell you the steps of where you're at. So a template has been chosen. Um, we're waiting for artwork, that's the next step. And here is the information they provided me, um, Judd and Jessica. Again, you can ask a lot more questions, colors, all kinds of stuff. Um, just trying to keep it simple for the video. And so presumably I then make those modifications in Photoshop or whatever program you're using to manage your designs. And then I'm going to add an artwork version for them. And so let's go ahead and pick that file. Okay, I've uploaded an artwork version and the client will be notified when I send this button right here, request approval via email. And so this will basically send me an email to the client asking them to log in and take a look at this uh, revision here. And so let's go ahead and send it. Okay, now I'm back as a client and I'm gonna go in here and I'll see, oh wow, look, here's the artwork version that you've uploaded. Again, I understand it's the same, but they can uh, request a revision and provide additional information as to maybe there's a typo or something of that nature, maybe they've changed their mind, um, or they can approve the artwork version. And so let's go ahead and approve it and we're good to go. Okay, and um, You'll also receive notification that uh, the artwork is approved, um, so you're good to go. And if I go into the designs, um, it says final artwork approved. And so we're good to go. Okay, now that you've seen the client experience, let's look at how we might set something like this up. Okay, I'm logged into my CheckCherry account. And if you go to manage, you'll find design collections. That's how you get here. So we'll start by adding our first collection of designs and we'll name it. Okay, great, my designs have been uploaded and there's a few things to note with each design collection. Um, first, these tabs here, so there's settings. So you can basically specify uh, which packages a collection belongs to and this will be helpful uh, because when a booking is created, a design can automatically be associated to that booking. Um, so very helpful in automation. Um, there's also categories, and categories would be something like wedding or Halloween or something of that nature. 
Um, and then there's layouts. So maybe you have four by six and um, you know layout with one single image or photo strips that are two by six, something like that. And then there's extra questions. And extra questions are great because you can ask additional information when the customer is selecting the template. And so how can we customize this for you? Um, and you'll see several things like file fields. Um, that's great for uploading a wedding invitation or something to match their design. Perhaps you want to have um, a lot more options to match and, and customize the template for them. Now, CheckCherry also integrates with several providers of templates. And I'm going to show you quickly how to set that up and it can really save you time. Um, you'll have your own relationship with those template providers, uh, but let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so in my business settings, you'll see an integrations tab. And here are some design template integration providers. Um, so you'll just click the button and follow the steps. Um, so we'll do photo with talk. Um, super easy. It tells you what each integration can do. And there might even be a special offer. So let's enable that in integration. So now that I've enabled it, I still have another step. I've got to go back to the design collections. And you'll see an additional button here which is to create a photo booth talk collection. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here you'll see several options they provide and we can import them. So perhaps we wanna just import the glam booth templates. Okay, great, they're in. Now I can go to all my collections and I also have glam booth templates. Thanks for watching this video on Check Cherry's designs feature. We hope it makes your life easier and if you have any questions, be sure to chat with us from within your account. Bye-bye.